the game room i'm patrick i'm brad and we are playing gta 5 on the xbox one and we're going to try and play the entire game in first person view because that's the new hot thing that they've added to the game first person it's so hot right now <laughs> we have literally just put the cd in and waited the good old 40 minutes for it to install but that gave us plenty of time to set up our mics and everything else that we needed for this let's play. Okay, well, we just completed the install. Did you not hear any sound? We can get even closer. <laughs> <laughs> I like that uh, twinkling. Uh, what's that? The, like Christmas thing on the around the bulletin board. The box, the lights. No, the the thing on the ceiling. Tinsel. Yeah, the twinkling tinsel in HD. It's so magical. <laughs> it is beginning to look a lot like Christmas with the oh, HD tinsel. I'm I'm crashed. How do I stop crashing? There we go. You never stop crashing. That's weird. So right stick in is iron sights. Oh yeah. Yeah. It's looking really good though for being upscaled from the original uh, 1080p. Hold left trigger to aim. Trap him in the closet with R. Kelly. Oh, look, there is a naked semi-naked woman on that i don't think any respectable bank would have yeah definitely a, not a calendar of a, swim, a swimsuit calendar is that is that the uh gta girl on the calendar no well maybe definitely not that one she does not have a big enough bosom i'm making the call all right we have bobcat security guys also no guns or jagged glass we gotta do this <laughs> past this point you might as well say no happiness oh, i better no bring up my phone oh this game was made a while ago yeah <laughs> where's my iphone it has buttons what who uh who puts the contact in their phone as detonate as detonate <laughs> i'm just gonna call my friend detonate <laughs> Oh, officer, detonates my cousin. <laughs> the controls feel like any other first-person shooter game that you'd use. Interesting. The real question is, are you going to stay in first-person for driving? Because I think that could become problematic. Yeah, it may be hard. Come on out, Oh. Mall cop to the rescue. That's such a stupid thing to say to someone that has a gun. Like, yeah, seriously. I saw your face. I'm gonna remember you. Hold down. Switch. Very cool. I just killed that man, and his face exploded like a pumpkin. Watch. He's probably like a few days away from retirement. Oh, He's gonna spend it with his grandchildren. Oh. <laughs> and now you feel like a douche. Dude, but I'm gonna go back to Michael. Oh, I can't go back to Michael. It's because, you know, he's on stage. Find some cover. The detail on all the guns is really, really good. Like the site has the manufacturer on it. I'm ready and to do this. Now get Call of Duty esque lever. I'll admit I didn't think first person change was a meaningful Wait, upgrade. Oh, apparently I have to take cover right here. That's the only place that you're safe. Wait until T's in cover, then Combat evolved. Charge. Take cover where we tell you. 
What was that switch in the shoulder? Is that when it, when it jumped? Get your fucking head down! The doors are about to blow! I am down! No, he means get down. Like, get down, get down. Did I miss the door. snap to cover button? Hold like A to run. Just take him on. Yeah, good choice. Nope, can't go through the door. Yep. This is a, this is really embarrassing because I beat this level. Well, it's a good thing all your buddies are like sitting there ever so patiently waiting for you to just get your shit together. There you go. So apparently I have to snap to third person to take cover. Oh, that's lame. He's the okay. So maybe for they... cinematic animations, you have to move into Come third on, person. Although there's not like a... I am used to hitting in the left or right sticks to... Don't be as dumb as you okay, so... I'm on top of the Yamakawa! So this is starting out to be Fargo, right? The video game? <laughs> Definitely the right setting. Get out of the way or suffer. <laughs> oh, shit. I'm okay. Oh, I died. Wasted. Mission failed. T died. Well, he's gonna die anyway. He's going to die. Spoilers. Oh, wait, no, I want to retry. To start you from I was assuming there'd be a health bar somewhere and I didn't see one. Since I didn't know I had... Your beating heart is the health bar. Oh, it was on the bottom left. Um, I liked your uncle. I did too. Action Ooh, roll. Whoa, <laughs> Action <laughs> roll. <laughs> Do a barrel roll. Actually, do a barrel roll. Get Reload. Down. Can you You're still shoot while you're like rolling? Your wow, I didn't think I was out of the health that quickly. In a minute, it's going to tell me you suck. Would you like to lower the difficulty? <laughs> <laughs> it's like getting that gold tanuki leaf when you play Super Mario 3D. Yes. The one that just says, oh, oh Okay, so I can snap to cover. In first person. Do they have a mechanic to let you know that there's like someone behind you? Or is uh, it the mini map. Mini? Yeah, okay. Is he just shooting the armored car? Like, just the back of the car. There's a guy that went behind there. Don't be sure. as dumb as you look. There's a grenade one What the fuck is this? Yeah, you forgot to stop the discount oh. weapon surplus. Get out of grenades. And a nunchuck gun. Outdated strong bad references out there. Get out of the way or you know, it's coming back. Yeah, I saw the fisheye lens video. Oh, I want to stab him now. Take him out. Garrot him, as someone would say. Good thing I have these American-made weapons. <laughs> Where are you? I'm in Minnesota. Minnesota, because these paddy wagons show up. There's a security oh. station right next to the barn. <laughs> I don't think there's a melee. We got a window. Let's go. So did you ever go to the Easter egg in this first part of the game? Where there was an alien trapped in the water? No. In Minnesota? Why do you give him a vehicle? Ever so calm. <clears throat> <laughs> 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 
Ooh, bad hair choice. Oh no! Oh, oh no! <laughs> Trevor's got some blood on him. Let's go. Because they don't roll down. This is uh, the movies, Josh. You do whatever you want. <laughs> that car totally ran over that guy's head. Ooh. Oh, now you're first person. We move quick, we can beat the train. We're getting there. Cops, what a surprise! Yeah, cinematic view. Woohoo! Oh. <laughs> and this is when it's hard to stay in first person. Thank you, Martin. Four wheel drive on this. Oh, I lost the damn train. Oh, yeah. You totally made it. I totally made it, even though I was really far away from the train. You guys all right? Fuck. It's a good thing we Come all on. wore our seat belts. Ditch the car, all right? We can go this way to the chopper. No, hey, stick to the plan. What? Stick to the fucking plan. Come on. <laughs> stick to the plan, guys. It's <laughs> worked out really well so far. There goes the plan. That guy needs a different hair color. He like bleached his hair. Well, that's how you knew he was gonna die. Can't tell if he's bleeding or just wearing the red flannel. It's just a red flannel. Yeah. He's just faking, really. Mm -hmm. Oh, now you gotta be the ugly guy. Hold off the cops. That's okay, Trevor's the best. Come on! Come on! So you can change the difficulty on um, auto aim to snap, medium, or off. So right now I'm assuming it's on full auto aim because you can just see where it's like snapping to the cops. You know, a lot of people didn't like that mechanic when they put it in uh, Metroid Other End. You yeah. just fire one kind of auto target. I thought it was helpful. I was one of those people that did struggle with the precise aiming in Prime. You know, I didn't play Other M, but um, big fan of the Metroid series. Absolutely. The cops did not do a good job on setting that screen to clear it of pedestrians. Nope. But it's a good thing that Hicks hey, the one like black this guy and the cop is right there. Yeah. <laughs> Diversity. In Minnesota? Yeah, in like Hicksville, Minnesota, there's yeah. just an endless supply of cops. The forces, you know, everyone in, in the town, if you're a male and you're not the barber or the, you know, the guy who runs the McDonald's, you're on, you're on the force. Yeah. Hold X to pay respects. <laughs> You gotta do a quick time event so the coffin lowers into the ground. <laughs> if you don't mash it, don't let his like, body fall out. <laughs> so if you don't mash the buttons, does it like fall off the edge and like hit the ground? <laughs> yeah. Rockstar game friend. I knew him. So in the in minutes. the original Grand Theft Auto Five, I think that cop was wearing different clothes because the whole upscaling they changed everyone's a lot of like scenes, people's like clothes and stuff, and a lot of animations to just like bring it all. Hmm. And because they could play around with a lot more textures and had more freedom, so they didn't have to scrunch, scrunch it all into like, hmm. you know, a 360 game. This is cool. They added like 80 new songs and all this stuff. So I'm really excited for the soundtrack. On uh, Black Friday, all the independent records that participate in Record Store Day are going to be releasing a five vinyl pack of the GTA 5 soundtrack and each vinyl is a different color like a bright neon pink and green and yellow and stuff really yeah. I'm gonna have to get that when are they dropping the Guardians of the Galaxy the tape tape yeah when's it's that also on Black Friday is that also at independent record stores yep I was excited for both of those I don't know where I can find an independent record store because all I have in my town are corporate record stores 
You have to go to recordstoreday.com, I think. Maybe the local. What about me? It's such a therapist face and hairdo. Josh, you're going to get a PhD one day. Is that how you're going to dress when you're like a doctor? Okay, so I have, I've really wanted the goatee. You wanted the goatee? I, I want the goatee. I, I really do. But then that's your sinister self from an alternate universe. Just, yeah, I, I understand that that makes me the villain. Sure. Um, and a douchebag haircut like that too. No, you know, I'm actually... I, I'm ex I'm accept I've accepted the fact that I I will go bald. You will go bald. I, I will go bald. I'm already thinning, but I'm gonna just man up. I'm just gonna shave my head. But if I'm gonna shave my head and, and have the goatee, I I definitely need to bulk up a little bit to balance. Yeah. You yeah. know. I, and so I want a ratio. Yes, I want my students to look at me like I'm Indiana Jones. You know, I want to be that professor, the, you know, the muscular one, the people that they just assume that by night I am a vigilante or that I am chasing down artifacts. Right. That's the kind of professor I want to be. Like your students were right. I love you on their eyelids. Every time you pick up an object, you have to say this belongs in a museum. This belongs in a museum. <laughs> it's like that, that belongs in a museum. Did you ever see that episode of Always Sunny in Philadelphia where every time Charlie grabs an object, he says that? <laughs> I did not. I love that episode so much. Uh, I have been to California all but four times, and it looks strangely enough like this game. Yeah. They were able to capture the whole pretentiousness of California and put it into this game. <laughs> it looks beautiful though, doesn't it? <clears throat> and you have the whole city. Have the whole city. You have the whole city to yourself. And I'm, the country. And the country. And the country. Okay. So when I want to go to the vineyards at Napa Valley, I can go to the vineyards at Napa Valley. Can you purchase and run your own vineyard? Dog still looks like garbage, though. No, I cannot purchase my own vineyard. I was wondering if you could go all like Harvest Moon on this game and just, you know, retire from a life of crime <laughs> and get yourself a farm. No, they, settle down with a family somewhere. There's no farm mechanics, but you do have gambling, bowling, baseball, golf, tennis, yoga, weightlifting, strip clubs. So you have everything but agriculture. Everything but agriculture. And, yeah. But can you become a professional at these things? I mean, is this is this a way that you can dedicate your life? This is say, not to being an a agrarian society-based game. <laughs> Well, yes, but I mean, is the ultimate goal just, are you getting good at crime, or can you get, I don't know, I think you can you take levels in baseball and, you know, become an epic player or something and retire? I think I can increase my stamina, but there's no, like, I'm going to join the uh, A League and then You're the AA the and then the AAA League. No, you can't. You there can't are better progress. things to do, like collecting things. cars. Yeah. And Boosting cars. Boosting. Boosting cars. Boosting cars. Boosting cars. I think you can be a professional strip club attender though you can be a professional attender a connoisseur yeah. of strip so clubs. the entire time i played the original grand theft auto 5 i only ever went to the strip club once with michael to pick up a whore to have sex with her yeah. which then from that point on the character always talked about how he had transgressed against his wife <laughs> so <laughs> he used the word transgress he didn't, i don't think he ever said transgress but he, he said like he'd, he'd been naughty so i'd always wondered like if i had never picked up that whore and slept with her if the dialogue in the game would have changed. I think oh. it always will be the same script. Like they don't have varying okay. uh, trees of dialogue. Look! Look at this hose. That is a mad hose. Mad hose up in this joint. I like that hose. That is a nice hose. Um, okay, I'm gonna get out of uh, first person for. Now, for one, driving. one of the things that I have come to understand, because this is a game that I haven't played, I'm, I'm unfamiliar to the series, but I've heard that one of the ways that you get the strippers to fall in love with you is by attending the clubs frequently, and then you have to touch them. Like, you go up and you, you just touch the strippers. You can touch them, yeah. yeah. And by touching them and bringing them various gifts, they're inspired to want to be with you, which is kind of the exact opposite way that a strip club works. Yes. Um, like any, any good... Uh, Oh, I just took out. Oh, mm. Wow, it's just like real life. That's <laughs> true. <laughs> Josh, in his former life, was a traffic officer. Or still is a traffic officer. Still actually. technically still. a traffic officer. I... You were hated by millions of Americans. Well, I, yeah, at least in the community, yes. I'm one of those people that just you know, wrote the parking tickets, told them, no, I'm sorry. Nope. Can't. Oh, 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 there he goes. Okay. 
There we go. I have a broken windshield. I'm surprised that's all that's broken. After you took my out pride the street light. Whoa! Yes! <laughs> he hits the steering wheel. Damn it! Freaking. It wasn't my fault. I'm glad that stolen car is a place for his cell phone. <laughs> oh, yeah. He's got the little grip pad. Bikers, get out of my way. Take, take a second to connect your phone. To, oh, wait, I guess they wouldn't have that. Kind of oh, there it goes again. <laughs> his car gets wrecked. Oh, oh, he just keeps going. He just keeps going. <laughs> Is this a is this a movie studio? Is yeah, we're real? now in the Hollywood lot, and I'm using his Whoa. drivability. Cause he can, oh, I hit he's, the fire hydrant. Does he have like a slow mo? Yeah, he's a slow mo driving mode. Like he's got a spider sense when he drives. Yes. Is that? He is the Black Spider Man. He, he's the Black Spider. The Black Widower. Oh. oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I must have been clipped. Oh. Everyone's so nonchalant about how you're driving right now. Well, it's just the tutorial. Like, there's not even cops out, and I've definitely hit a couple people <laughs> that would have called the cops. Control V Kawhi in the air. That doesn't really help when I'm in first person. Oh, and he still beats me. There's no way. I was totally going to overtake him. Oh, oh. Th okay. It must be scripted that he wins. Oh! oh. <laughs> uh, pine tree. HD pine needles. <sighs> Can you count how many traffic violations I have violated while... I stopped trying. A little piece of me is dying right now. Yeah. But, no, but, you know, not enough that I'm going to stop. Yeah. Oh, oh my. Uh, just... <laughs> oh, the wood one. The wood one. The wooden yeah. telephone pole. Immovable. Yeah, my car's... Oh, oh, that's a parking lot. I'm over at Target. Oh, you're at Target. <laughs> <laughs> you're a little off Target, I would say. Oh. I do want to get a gun, though, and try driving and shooting while in first person. I hear that's... Uh, it's akin to the horse... Oh! So akin to the five. horseback archery of the Zelda series. Mm. Driving and shooting. But, whoa! He was just parked waiting for me. Whoa. What the heck? I didn't think I was turning that sharply to spin out. Oh, that was cool. The newspapers flying out. Oh, drug dealer underneath the bridge there. Whoa! <laughs> now, I know that some games... Uh, like Skyrim, one of the most impressive things about Skyrim, which was a kind of an open world like this, too. Oh, hey, I beat him. The last second. What you going for? So Brad is terrified of going and living in the South. Yeah. <laughs> I'm, not, <laughs> I'm not saying I'm scared, I just don't really. Whoa! There he is! So I'm uh, boxing out a significant portion of potential listeners, but. Yeah, not a huge fan of the South. That's okay. I was born and raised in the South, so I make up uh, enough love in here for the South. My dad was raised in the South. Well, I, I totally I, had enough room to go between those two cars. <laughs> but I grew up in a very Southern home, the whole, you know, yes or no, sir. Yes Where did your no. dad grow up? My dad grew up in Florida and Georgia. Okay, that's right. And I was Alabama and Florida. Yeah. Right. So, I mean, I, I understand... You know, you know the southern culture to an extent. I've been, I've been down there. I had to catch a cab there. I do think that the southern accent on women, the southern belle accent, is very hot. Very sure. hot. It's sure. very hot. Sure. It's, it's up there. It's do you think one. it also lowers their intelligence though, or not? It definitely makes people sound more stupid. Well, now is it? It mm -hmm. makes them sound stupider or just slower? Because you can you can speak slowly and not think slowly. I've seen Forrest Gump. I agree with that. Yeah. I crashed the car, guys. I, I see that. Can you just step out and flip it and I can handle? No, but I have an achievement. Do a barrel. <laughs> yes! <laughs> My earlier reference was validated. The car got stuck. I'm going to retry. Ugh. 
Oh well. But I'm, I mean, I think that's that's one of the reasons why the British think that Americans reason. are stupid is that our when we speak it sounds slower to them. Oh, of course, all nice. All nice. Thing. Even though I read a really interesting um, essay on how Americans actually speak m- more correctly because we were isolated. We're isolated. Yes. But we also didn't go through that whole thing where the British were like oh no, the rising middle class are taking over our language. So they're like, we gotta, <laughs> we gotta change it so we can sound like all aristocratic. No, a similar argument is made about Shakespeare's language and how Shakespeare spoke a mix of Cockney and what we speak today. And that our language is actually closer to what Shakespeare spoke than what the British do. I've heard, I've heard that argument as well because we were isolated. They were on an island, but they were also like really close to France for a very long time. And if you remain close to anything French, it will mess you up. Sadly. Is that like when you're sitting next to French fries, you like, you know, get fat? Do <coughs> <fat. laughs> you guys mind if we call them freedom fries? Freedom fries, okay. Just... Ooh, that should have been an achievement right there. Ooh. Ooh. Now, does he have this ability because he's black? Yes. No. <laughs> <laughs> Good question. I think it was a legitimate question. Well, it didn't fall over that time. Oh. Just check your Dang phone it. for text messages. No, I'm trying to remember how to change the radio station. There we go. Got to put it on some classic rock. Can we get some Journey up in here? <laughs> actually, the entire time I just realized we, I'm actually going to have to go into the menu and turn off um, the radio because we can't have it on. <clears throat> and I don't need to tell you boys why I can't have the music on. Or do I? Because of copyright laws that on one. YouTube. Yeah. Yeah, about that. So there will be no journey. It was actually Creedence Clearwater's Fortune Son. Fortune Son? Fortune? I think there will be. Hey, we're at the strip club. Blood, Okay, so speaking of There Will Be Blood, right? Great movie. Uh I'm in the process of reading The Jungle by Upton Sinclair, who wrote a book called Oil, which is There Will Be Blood, is based off of. Mm, Interesting. So I'm going to try and check out his entire library of books. Man, these are some, like, amazing 2014 cops that have, like, radar guns and like satellite tracking drones because you just cannot get rid of them and that's kind of been my big complaint with the with gta 5 is you just cannot shake the cops ever yeah. well to some extent i mean that is that that is realistic oh, Grand the Theft Auto, uh on the 360 did not have wacky waves of inflatable arm tube tube men Benefits of HD. Benefits of HD. <laughs> he just wasn't wacky before. Hey. Oh, hey, it's Tubble Blard. No, no, I'm not calling nobody a nigga. Wait, what the fuck? I, I mean, N word. I, I, that, that's not cool, man. I, I don't say that. You fucking right, and you better keep it right, because this man right here, he's an international businessman, a multiculturalist. That I could not oh, have said controls. better myself. Well, anyway. uh, but seriously, maybe he's Brad's taking the wheel now. We'll see how he does. Oh. Josh finally put his headphones on so he can hear all the sound. Eastern European accent is informing me. Josh, should we put on Russian subtitles and you can translate for us? I will be happy for to translate your subtitles. Interesting story, though. The tattoo on his neck reminds me of a Russian anecdote. Uh, there's a story about the, in the days of Peter the Great, who was the great reformist Tsar of Russia. There was uh, there's a, there's a big angel on a pillar in Saint Petersburg, just outside of the of the Hermitage, mm-hmm. the Hermitage, 
and that yes. angel fell off the pillar. Right. And Peter was concerned that of the resources and money and time it was going to take to restore that. And there was a guy that came up to him and said, I can do that in three days. And he goes, well, if you can do it in three days, I'll give you whatever you want. So the dude invented some cool pill, you know, lever and pulley system, got the angel back up, but Peter was kind of, he didn't want to pay up. So when the guy came in, he just said, let me tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to give you this certificate. And it's good for free alcohol anywhere in Russia, anytime you want. So the guy's like, oh, okay, score. Like, this is literally better than money. So he goes out, comes back the next day because he's lost the paper. Mm -hmm. So Peter writes him another one, says, okay, do not lose this one. Comes back the next day, he'd lost it. So Peter tattoos the certificate on the guy's neck. And so to this day, whenever a Russian... That's the sidewalk, Brad. What are you doing? (laughs) He's got, right, a, he's got a driveway. He always flips two fingers at their neck. Interesting. It's a Russian gesture where they talk about if someone's drunk or if they're drinking, they'll always flip their neck, and it's to refer back to that story. Interesting. Huh. Well, I'm going to get some ink done on my neck. I'm going to get the entire Elder Scrolls on my neck. <laughs> <laughs> Excellent idea. Yeah. There has been a recent influx of Pokemon tattoos. Really? If you look on the internet, and a lot of them are very cool looking. I've been looking at some of the Pokemon graffiti that's been around the town. Some good stuff. Yeah. There's, and by around the town, I mean New York when I was there. <laughs> one of the I saw I even saw Pokemon um, graffiti in Russia, and that's one of the things that's amazing about the franchise is when we were younger, there were people that would play it, and then there were people that would play it and not tell anyone and they would make fun of the people that were playing it because it wasn't always cool to play it but now everyone's grown up and they've all owned up to liking the franchise and that's why they i mean they market the stuff to 10 year olds but everyone that buys pokemon's over 20. i saw a little meme thing that said uh had a picture of call of duty and pokemon that said for pokemon marketed towards 10 year olds played by 25 year olds and yeah. then Call of Duty marketed towards 25-year-olds. Played, played by 10-year-olds. 10-year-olds. It's <laughs> funny. And that's it, really. Is that a Barack Obama poster? No, it's just mad. Mad. With two Ds. Oh, I look fresh. Mothers Against Drunk Driving? You should change your outfit while you're there. <laughs> Let's see what clothes Franklin has in his wardrobe. Oh, we're going to play dress up. Um... I think it's uh, A or Y, but it might not let you. The blimp has now been unlocked, Brad. Call the blimp. Oh, snap. I'm going to have a gentleman calling later. The blimp is the least conspicuous vehicle he could be using in this game. I'm going to rob a blank with a blimp. (laughs) I'm in a blimp, motherfucker. Are you calling the blimp? blimp I don't think it'll show up. Uh, like right <laughs> next to you. <laughs> Press A to blimp. Thank you for your business. Call us anytime. What's the badger thing on the phone? Badger is their version of like Verizon. Badger, 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 badger. Yeah, badger, pretty much. Badger, call up There's two call mushrooms up right there. There's, There's two, two mushrooms. mushrooms. Oh, the blimps on your on your map. Hit select and pull up the, the map. Or maybe it's start. I haven't been to California in a while. Is there a thriving blimp business, like blimp on delivery or on demand kind of a thing? I think there's blimpy subs, but it could be a totally different enterprise. It could be, but what if the blimpy the what if the blimpy subs were delivered in a blimp? Like the Amazon drones? Like a drone? That'd yeah. be we should we should write them and tell them that. That's the how they could compete with you. Jimmy John's freaky fast delivery. Oh that wasn't a blimp. You get an insurance fraud scam. <laughs> you gonna steal a car? Right oh now? no, he's not even Whoa, stopping. Dude, come on, man. You were like skating right next to him. Pull, so pull out your gun and waste him, Brad. <laughs> how about you? Oh, he stopped. Plus, you need to be in first person. You're not in first oh, person. Oh, yeah. How do you get into first person? Whoops, wrong one. There Don't take his car. Just pull him out of the car. Look at those dials. <laughs> how do I answer? This hey. is. Hey. He's going to get a star just for using his cell phone while driving. Don't kill the lady with a beanie in 90 degree weather. Was that a, was that a lady? Could, could you, be a man. Oh, yeah, you can look behind. Could That's be cool. a herm. I kind of, yeah, I thought it was like a dude looks like a lady right there. I'm, I'm okay with the herm community. Um, Take a left. Oh, no. Are you talking to Simeon right now? He's going to pull you into a mission. Why are you fi- finding less obstruction driving against traffic? Yeah, you're doing better than I was doing driving the car. <laughs> Hello, Gabda. Oh. oh. <laughs> That's texting while driving, Brad. <laughs> 
There's, oh, there's, there's, there's the sirens. Oh, there's yeah. the cops. They found you. It's my blimp. So if you do his special driving, it's both sticks in at the same time. They mapped it to hitting both L3 and R3 at the same time? Yeah. Oh, my. Wait, this is not where I want to go? No. <laughs> <laughs> okay, now, now, just get out of the car and go down one of those oh, on. sewer vents, like in The Fugitive. Oh, yeah. And then yeah. you can get to the blimp from the top of that waterfall before Tommy Lee Jones... Oh, the cops are going to come and arrest you. Try and stop me. You're, you're at two <laughs> stars now. <laughs> Every car. <God. laughs> Every car. <laughs> it's a uh, strategy. Now, let me ask a question. I know this is, in, in a way, it's a life simulator. In a way, it's, you know, you're, there's all these crimes yeah. to commit. Is there, like, can you beat the game? Can the game be won? Yes, there's, there are, um, like, 56 story missions and, like, 100 and something odd side missions. And once um, all of the crime has been crimed? Yes. Then 